Now, welcome back. Yes, we're with After the Bell on CNBC TV 18. Let's get to Deal Street. Tata Steel has sold a majority stake in its Southeast Asia business to China's HPIS Group. The company has sold 70% stake but has also decided to retain 30%. The HPIS Group is one of the largest steel makers in the world with revenues of about $50 billion. Kevin Lee is here with the details uh, and on the assets. Uh, that have been sold and the reason behind it. Kevin, take us to the contours of this deal and, you know, what's the broader picture here? Uh, Tata Steel has been looking at selling Southeast Asia operations. They've been consolidating operations. What does this mean for the debt picture? Well, like you said, for six months now, Tata Steel has been looking to sell off its Southeast Asia operations. This is because the EBITDA per ton in that region is very low. It's about 1,600 rupees per ton compared to around eight to 9,000 of what it gets in India. HBIS, consequently, uh, has been facing a slowdown in the Chinese market, so is looking to expand. So it is actually a match made in heaven in that regard. Like you mentioned, they're selling 70% of the stake. They're keeping 30% in case there's any upside. The management clarified today saying that it will keep this 30% stake for at least another three years before it decides whether or not it wants to monetize it through an IPO or another route. Talking about the assets, uh, there is Singapore-based Nat Steel and Tata Steel Thailand. Both of these will be transferred into a holding company, and Tata Steel will hold now 30% of that. Uh, the enterprise value of the holding company is expected to be around $685 million, out of which $150 million is debt. Tata Steel is going to get $327 million from this stake sale, which it will use to pare down its debt. Also remember that because that $150 million of debt was on its books, that will automatically be deleveraged as well. So Tata Steel clearly looking to deleverage now and divest from non-core assets.